This striking multicolored logo of the 969 movement has become a familiar sight across Burma. Outspoken Buddhist monk Wirathu is the face of this movement, which preaches extremist and anti-Muslim views. The image was created and designed at this monastery in Mulmain, Mon State, under the guidance of head monk Ashin Sadama. Ashin Sadama began the 969 sticker campaign in October last year when religious tension in the country was high. Since then, violent clashes between Buddhists and Muslims have spread across the country and dozens of people have been killed. Local people displaying the 969 image connect the symbol with the spreading anti-Muslim sentiment. But Ashin Sadama insists the design has no message regarding other faiths and refutes the implication that there is any connection with the clashes. Despite his insistence, the sticker is being used as a way to identify places as exclusively Buddhist, thereby isolating Muslims. Ominously, many taxis, shops and even public buses now display this symbol. Most drivers displaying the stickers agree that they would not stop Muslims from getting in their taxi because despite attitudes, they need the business. Some taxi drivers say they've had to remove the stickers to make Muslim customers feel more comfortable. Although portrayed as a Buddhist movement, prominent Buddhist figures reject it, including Ugambira, a leading figure from the 2007 anti-government protests. But Wirathu's views are having influence and have led to a proposed anti-interfaith marriage law that has some support on the streets. U Wirathu has been accused of inciting violence against Muslims with hate speech and racist views. Monk Ashin Sadama says he is protecting Buddhists from the influence of other faiths and insists the movement is peaceful. And despite the racist message the symbol has become associated with, he doesn't regret creating the sticker campaign. For many other people, the sticker has come to symbolize the increasing anti-Muslim feeling in the country, and its continuing presence across towns and villages makes hope of religious reconciliation more difficult.